Today, someone asked me how to stay motivated. I said that should be the least of your worries. They were confused, and so I told them motivation doesn't matter. Allow me to explain. It's based on feelings. Relying on it begs the daily question of, am I in a mood today to make progress on what I'm passionate about? And sometimes that answer is going to be no. Inevitably, you can't control that. We're human beings. We're not robots programmed to always be happy or always be excited or always be motivated. So the reason motivation doesn't matter in the pursuit of achieving everything you want is because it's volatile. When you rely on a variable that's unpredictable like that, you become inconsistent. And when you become inconsistent, you become stagnant. And when you become stagnant, days pass, yet you remain the same. So, what do you rely on? I actually look six years old right now. There's no way. I have the hat on because my hair looks like this. All right, thank me later. There's obviously an elephant in the room, and I'm not talking about Santa's ass either. There are 5,000 more of you since the last Eugene Marathon training vlog. Uh, if my math checks out, that's a lot of people. So I just want to say welcome. And, uh, oh. Hello, I'm popular. If you guys didn't know, my last video copying Emma Chamberlain's Instagram photo, she saw it, she commented on it, which, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't like freaking out or anything. Okay, I was screaming like a little girl, but that's not the point. So yeah, she saw the video and she commented on it. And then, as if my life could not hit a new peak, she put it on her Instagram story. And she really didn't have to do that. That was really nice for her, actually. And uh, so thanks, so shout out to Emma Chamberlain and everyone that joined this channel from her. Uh, welcome. So you guys are just in time. Today is actually going to be the final episode of the Eugene Marathon training vlog. Basically, I'm training for the Eugene Marathon, obviously. If I can put two and two together. Wow, I actually look six. So today I'm going to be doing a half marathon time trial, and that should be uh, that should be interesting. I'm not exactly sure if I'll be able to run the pace I want to, which is 6:17. And the reason 6:17 is the goal pace is because that's a sub 2:45 marathon, and that's my goal for Eugene. Kind of an absurd goal, but I'm all about it. I'm not exactly sure if I'll be able to hit this pace today just because uh, I'm running on like a gravelly hilly road. No excuses or anything but like you know I think if I can do this today I'll have a good chance of running the whole marathon at this pace which maybe it's a stretch I don't know. Anyways I am going to make some green tea eat some stuff and then we're gonna go run a half marathon. I'll see you out there. Hey, what's up guys? I'm actually in heaven right now. I died on that workout. Just kidding, I wish. I'm just sitting by the window. I can't tell if my lens is dirty or if I'm just like... Lighting is on point right here. So the thing is, like, I'm really hungry right now. 
Uh, I don't have any groceries though. However, I told myself I'm not gonna go out to eat. And it's times like these that you have to test your discipline, people. I'm not gonna go get Chick-fil-A for the fourth time this week. I'm just not gonna do it. I'm gonna say no. Under no circumstance am I gonna be sitting in that stupid drive-thru again ordering another grilled chicken sandwich. Can I get a grilled chicken sandwich? One second. Don't fucking judge me, alright? Can I get a grilled chicken sandwich with no lettuce or tomato? Um, and can I replace the fries for fruit? What is the chicken soup like? Be honest. It's not like amazing. All right, I'm not gonna get it then. It's like a, it's like a good. <laughs> okay, I, I, I don't want it then. <laughs> okay. I'm looking for amazing only. Grilled chicken sandwich is amazing. <laughs> okay, there we go. Thank you so much. My pleasure, just make sure that you follow behind this gray Nissan exterior to our right. Wait, you mean the McLaren? So. Oh, cause Russ said that's not a Nissan, that's a McLaren. Ten years with no sleep, that ain't a Nissan, that's a McLaren. That's what I told myself, that's how I got it. Shout out to Russ. Can you imagine that crazy? What if I just sat down in my car? This is a McLaren. This is a McLaren. Fuck anybody that says anything different, all right? I'm driving a fucking McLaren right now. What are some other things that you could like, just a super shitty situation that you could just say is like better than it is. This ain't a trailer home, this is a mansion. Wait, I already paid. You did pay. I did, thank you so much. Oh, one sec, can you actually take this back? Yeah. This straw? It's bad for the earth. Trying to save the world. Oh. <laughs> you have a good one now. This ain't a dollar, this a hundred dollars. <laughs> Hi, subscribe and like. Oh. That ain't a Chili's, this is an Outback Steakhouse. That ain't a Nissan, guys. Oh yeah, here we go, mother truckers. Got my Chick-fil-A fruit. And last but not least, a grilled chicken sandwich. I mean, it's game over. Like, I'm so hungry right now. Oh, I almost spilled. I'm just gonna eat this while uh, Mafio's in this auto parts store, so, I mean, I don't know. I'm not asking questions, though. It simply doesn't get better than this, right here. A lot of people don't know this, but Chick-fil-A is actually the most profitable food chain in the nation. It really makes you wonder, why? Is it because chicken is very, oh, hey, Theo, yeah, what's up, dude? What's up, dude? Um, Yo, you vlogging? No, I, no. I thought you weren't eating fast food again. <laughs> uh, my mans, and Brett Brock, who's at work right now, grinding. Brett, right, if you're watching this, I love you. Love you, bro. They filmed the epic montage you saw earlier, so big shout out to Theo Goff. They also have YouTube channels. Oh, yeah, I They know will that. be in the description. Go subscribe to Theo. Go subscribe oh. to Brett. Comment on their last video and say, Ryan sent me. Ooh, that's good. That's if good. If you're a real one. But only if you're a real one. If you're not a real mm. one, don't do it. Yeah, don't even bother. Honestly. That ain't a Nikon. That's a Canon. Dude, stop turning my seat heater on. <laughs> you so, just noticed? Yes, it's blazing. I, I did that to, like 20 minutes ago. My back's on fire. Dude, I've been I've been really thinking about it, and I honestly wouldn't consider Chick-fil-A fast food. At anything, you should title it extremely fast food, okay? That's a good point. I Honestly, the food's not super bad for you. It's not terrible for you compared to other fast foods. Oh. I think there should be another subcategory called extremely fast food, which would encompass Chick-fil-A, and no other. <laughs> That's it. There's you guys should actually see how efficient the Chick-fil-A is here. Oh my gosh, it's insane. Three lines of people taking orders. Somehow I get in and out of there within like 60 seconds. Who's there. making the food? The is it like a live stream? Like whenever they're whenever we're ordering and they can just like It's like a can I get a number two? They're like working on the air. <laughs> and it's like, you know what actually I'll take a number three. Throws Fuck. the whole thing away. <laughs> Starts working on number three. I would bathe in this shit if I could. No way. I would. How many likes would you have to get to bathe in honey barbecue sauce? If this video gets 3,500 likes, I will bathe in some honey barbecue sauce. And that's a promise. Everybody, what's going on? Who is that? Who is that? Oh shoot, it's Brett. He's back from work, people. We just got in a little workout and now we're gonna wrap it up with some abs. My seven minute ab workout actually. Have you completed it by yourself yet? I have not finished it by myself. Wow. Which is embarrassing because it's, it's like I, I made it. First of all, big shout out to Emma Abrahamson for the shirt. What's up fellas? Good stuff. I gotta say I love this shirt. Gonna be a staple in my wardrobe. Oh yeah. You gotta do it. Yeah. Cause like, you know how many compliments I've gotten today? How many? At least six. Wow. Prepare to watch us die. What's the number one piece of advice to any 40 year old female watching right now? A 40 year old That's female. my main demographic. Don't think, if you're single, and you're a 40 year old woman, don't cut yourself out. You might find the man of your life. Don't think you're out of the loop. You're still in it. You still got it. You're hot. You're fine. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Yep. Heel click, you ready? I just close my eyes and pretend I'm at Chuck E. Cheese. Uh, crunches. Oh, these are easy. Oh, easy work. Rest. This is rest, if anything. Honestly, bro. I feel like I'm getting a full spa treatment right now. Honestly. A massage, getting a pedicure. Mm -hmm. This is the equivalent of that. I feel like Muhammad Ali is just jabbing me in the stomach right now. You know in Mortal Kombat, whenever they do the fatalities? Yeah. Yep, and I can't feel my toes. Scissors. I feel like my legs are cinder blocks right Honestly. now. <laughs> oh, oh, like I got a shot. Oh. I'm hit. What's next? Workout complete. Oh, thank God. We just hit 40,000 subscribers. All right, so uh, we're just gonna wrap up the video real quick. I'm chilling here with Brett. What up, guys? Let's post it up on the on the roof out here. You know how it goes. Living lavish at Park West. Oh, so you guys really liked the last video where I like talked to the camera for like a few minutes. I'm sure you heard at the beginning of the video when I said that motivation doesn't matter. And I know that's like that's like a crazy thing to say because a lot of like that's huge. Whether you're pursuing fitness or running or maybe like I don't know painting or piano, it doesn't really matter what you do. This really applies to everything. So a lot of you guys actually like ask me, hey, how do I stay motivated? Hey, the only thing stopping me from doing this or the only thing stopping me from achieving that is I'm never motivated. I can't like I can't get out of bed to do it in the morning. And I never really have sympathy for those kind of statements. Just because I, I don't believe that their goals are sincere. Like no disrespect to anyone. I think whenever you have goals and whenever you have things that you want to achieve, things that you're doing with your life, you need to be able to define why it is that you are doing it. So, and what I mean by that is like, let's just use LeBron James for example. Oh shoot, that was bad. LeBron James does not rely on motivation. Pro his, his why is probably becoming the greatest of all time, and he means that, that's the difference. A lot of people say they want certain things, but they don't really mean it. When I came to college, and here's a little personal anecdote, uh, I wrote down on my goals board that I wanted to break four in the mile. I wanted to win nationals in track. I wrote those down because those were goals that were expected of me, I feel like. Like, all right, you're going D1, you're going to run for Texas A&M. You need to have these big goals. So I wrote them down, but I didn't mean them. Like, I didn't actually, want like obviously I wanted to do it but I didn't know why I wanted to do it and literally a few months later I quit and it didn't hurt either it didn't hurt to quit and, and walk away from that because I didn't really know why I was doing it so obviously I can't wake up in the morning excited about pursuing that goal if I don't know why what kind of life are you living if you don't know why you're living it like that's that's demotivating right there like fair enough I understand why you're not motivated because you don't know why the thing that happens whenever you rely on your definition of why you do things you become consistent as hell at everything you do. I was talking to Brett about this on a run the other day. We were talking about this exact topic. What I want for myself in the pursuit of my goals is like, one year from now, I wanna be able to look back on the months of April versus May, and regardless of how I felt, I want to know that I got my shit done. I wanna know that I did what I had to do, and I don't wanna be able to tell on paper how I felt because the results were there regardless. Motivation isn't a factor at that point. Because if, like for me, my biggest obsession right now, and I think for a long time, is YouTube. Like you guys, I've really never been this happy in my life. Like my friends, my roommates right now, the environment that I'm in right now is so incredible and I'm obsessed with it. I feel like you really need to be obsessed with whatever it is that you're pursuing the most and you need to know why you're doing it. And so, for me, uploading, ironically, this is going up a day late, but <laughs> uploading Monday, Wednesday, Friday is my general schedule, okay? I know I really wanna put a lot of work in on my videos, so whenever my alarm goes off at like 6 a.m. and I just got like six hours of sleep, five hours, which is a very small amount for me. I'm used to like eight or nine running in high school. I get out of bed regardless. It doesn't matter how I feel because this has to get done, you know? Just ask yourself why the hell am I doing this? If you don't know why you're doing it, figure out why or ditch it because you have to have a sincere reason why you're doing what you're doing. So, okay, here's the thing. You might figure it out along the way. Don't. Thank you guys so much for watching this series. It's been a blast. I feel like they've improved gradually throughout and I really appreciate all of your support. Eugene Marathon on April 29th. I'll see you then. That ain't a niece on that's a McLaren. That's what I told myself, that's how I got it. I recognize the thoughts on my mind were directly connected to what's in my pockets. This in your head, money will come. Soon as you feel like you already have it. Napoleon Hill, Deepak and Paolo. That's what I read and I made this shit happen. Yeah. Right, sometimes when you're out of town, I use your bathroom. <laughs> Knowledge. Just got it early.
The shady of the shady switches for nuts that go macadamia nuts for the Whoa, oh, it's that way. God damn it. Fuck! Can I get a grilled chicken sandwich? Ошибку несказанных слов Знаешь одно, случится однажды Воспетый до 